9 ways to fight the freeze. Winter's coming. You know what that means. Bad weather and cold conditions for your plants. Here's a 9-step health check that will really help you fight the freeze. Number 1. Monitor day and night temperatures. You can do this with a temperature and humidity meter. We love the air comfort as it sends data straight to your phone. If you have a meter that has a probe, make sure you position the probe in a suitable location in the shade at the base level of your plants. Number two, run lights when it's coldest. Grow lights produce a lot of heat. To put this heat to good use, run your lights at night when temperatures drop outside. Number three, use a grow room heater. For a small area, a tubular heater is great. To heat large areas quickly, you can't go wrong with a Climber Heat electric grow room heater. It's cheap to run because it's hardly on. You'll only need to run it for a few minutes every hour and you're sorted. Number four, use indoor air for intake. Outside air is cold. If you draw it into your grow room, you'll have a harder time keeping plants warm. Instead, try moving your intake fan so you draw air from indoors. Doing this will also mean that you'll be drawing in CO2-rich lived-in air. Number 5. Seal off your grow room. Make your grow room draft-proof. Fill in any holes. Seal up any gaps. Check no air is seeping in through door and window frame spaces. This means you'll have a much easier time controlling your grow room's environment. Number six, keep pots off the floor. A cold floor can really slow down plants from growing in pots. Make sure there's an insulating barrier between your plants and the floor. The easy answer is placing your plants on an upturned garland tray. Number seven, keep an eye on your nutrient. If your nutrient gets too cold, it can shock plants. Monitor your nutrient solution with a nutrient thermometer. To keep it warm, try a heavy-duty nutrient heater. Number 8. Store nutrients and boosters properly. Storing your nutrients in cold conditions can damage your nutrients. If they get too cold, some of the dissolved salts that make up your nutrients will crystallize. In this form, they are no longer part of the nutrient solution and are unavailable to your plants. To prevent this, store your nutrients in a cool, dark place, out of direct sunlight where temperatures sit between 10 and 19 degrees Celsius. Number 9. Consider a closed-loop room. Get the best climate all year round. Create a closed-loop setup. Your grow room is almost completely closed off. Hardly any air enters and hardly any air leaves. Instead of exchanging air, you treat air. For example, cooling it or modifying the humidity. Doing this is by far the best way to grow. To keep costs low, make sure you use a climate control system that'll cool and heat your grow room. That way, you can use it all year round. We recommend a Hasaya or Top Climate Environment Control System. This video was filmed in Grow Well Dudley. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Hit subscribe and the bell to receive notifications on when we release new content.